Greetings from uh, St. Pat's Library. And uh, we're almost at the end of the second week of Advent. And so blessings to you and to your family. Um, I wanted to touch base with you uh, just for a few minutes. And um, I didn't think that people really wanted to join me on a Friday night for a Zoom meeting. So I thought maybe it just a real quick video that I could send along to you and that you could watch at your leisure. Um, these past 15 weeks, we have worked as committed partners to keep our children and our staff safe. And now, um, borrowing a phrase from Jean Kasner from the Chester County Health Department, we need to double down on those commitments. We would not have gotten this far without the diligence and the perseverance of, of Mrs. Adams, who spends countless hours reading, researching, and on the phone with Chester County Health Department and also with parents, helping them navigate this new world of COVID. Um, I'd also wanna answer a couple questions that people asked me last night through email. So the first question uh, was, what are we going to do differently to clean and to sanitize the school? Uh, when we have a case of COVID, and this is following um, the guidelines from the Pennsylvania um, Health Department, um, and we have one case, uh, the guidelines are to um, clean the area where the case spent time. And so we have done that and we continue to be diligent about our cleaning protocols um, since school has opened all our high touch areas, bathrooms, spraying down desks and tables, uh, using our electrostatic disinfectant sprayer at night or in the classroom or wherever uh, when a child gets sick during the day. Um, and we will continue to do this. The second question I received was, was the student in school this week before knowing they were positive and were they in school while they were awaiting test results? The answer is to that is no. Um, and it is always up to the parent to let us know that they are testing their child. And Mrs. Adams would always advise them to stay home until they receive the results again we are always working with the Chester County Health Department and consulting with them. The third question I received was, um, are there any precautions being taken for students in grades other than second and kindergarten that have siblings in one of the impacted cohorts? My answer to that is parents always have the option to have their child be virtual. And you know, also I ask parents to continue to be vigilant, to um, monitor for symptoms, just as you have been all year. So to, just to recap again, our positive case, uh, last night on the evening of December 10th, we were uh, alerted. We learned that we had a positive case within our student body. Um, some of the teachers remarked this morning that they knew it was something big because um, I sent an email so late. Um, I'm usually really asleep or at least in bed uh, by that time. So they know my uh, patterns pretty well. Uh, Mrs. Adams has reported that incident to the Chester County Health Department and we're following their guidance with the people involved, all the close contacts, and of course reported it to all of our school families. Um, just a few other things, heads up. Some families have asked to be virtual next week and certainly that is not a problem. Just wanna kind of caution you and, and give you a heads up that typically, especially in elementary school, that the week before Christmas um, isn't really totally academic. There's, there are many activities and art projects, um, crafts, being made and so um, the virtual learning possibly most likely will have um, some downtime so just a, just a heads up for that next week 
I also want to let you know that we will be closely monitoring the numbers next week and throughout the Christmas season. Chester County Health Department, uh, on our call yesterday morning, our typical Thursday morning call, continues to reassure us that in-school transmission remains low and that it is the activities that families and students engage in outside of school that is bringing COVID into school. I also want to let you know that we will be closely monitoring the numbers next week and throughout the Christmas season. Chester County Health Department continues to reassure us that in-school transmission remains low and that the activities that families and students engage in outside of school is bringing COVID into schools. The Archdiocese of Philadelphia is considering, depending upon the data, beginning school on January 4th for that first week of January to be virtual. This is just a consideration right now for the first week of January. And that decision will be made as soon as possible. Just want to give you a heads up about that. Please continue to be cautious with social distancing and follow COVID safety guidelines in, in social situations, as well as all the travel guidelines. Thank you to our amazing teachers and staff, to you, all of our families. And I know we will emerge from this stronger. I, I have three reasons. One, because we're St. Patrick's School. Two, because we are a blue ribbon school of excellence, not just once, but twice. And three, and most importantly, because he will give us what we need. Have a great weekend. And um, I hope we see many of our pre-K three through third grade families at our very first, but soon to be annual, surprise mystery readers on Sunday night. Be well, go Warriors.